relaxed as you think you may be at the moment, there is further to go. Whether you're relaxed or not right now, the aim is to relax deeper. So get yourself into a position now where you are twice as relaxed as before. Allow your unconscious mind to do that for you, as it always has in the past. Though do know that if you need to be awakened, though hypnosis is not sleep, if you need to be awakened back to full conscious awareness, that will happen easily and effortlessly, just like waking up. You allow yourself now in that knowledge, knowing that you could open your eyes at any moment, knowing that you could be back to full conscious awareness in a heartbeat, that your conscious mind knows how to come back to full conscious awareness at any moment, knowing that, and knowing that you are safe in the privacy of your own space, safe and comfortable and relaxed, you can now allow your eyes to close and if they're already closed, imagine them closing again. And take some deeper breaths now, so as to get yourself into the present moment. Each easy breath in and every gentle breath out, relaxing you deeper and deeper. There's no place for you to go, there's nothing for you to do, and the loudest sound you hear is the sound of my voice. Everything else just washes over you and helps you to relax. Now is a good time to just let go. Let go now. A little bit more with each easy breath in and every gentle breath out. And as you have now noticed your breathing, make each breath in purifying, cleansing and relaxing and every single breath out. A release of all the negativity, all the yammy yammer, all the yeah but, all that stuff that you no longer need. Just like every single breath you take, you breathe in that which you want and you release that that is no longer useful. Just like all those ideas you've been having lately about the changes that are happening now. All the creativity, all the processing of thoughts and ideas. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I not do this? Should I... should I... Time now to know that you've taken in all the information, all the information from your own particular circumstance, the restrictions, the parameters, the borders that have been placed on your own behaviour, your own home, your own way of life. You're now recognising things are different now. You've taken in all the information and the information is constantly changing. You're not sure what information will appear next and how that might affect you, your world, your life, yourself, your family, your friends, the rest of the world. We're in a state of change. So as you are now, as relaxed as you possibly can be, as you are focused on each easy breath in, every gentle breath out, as you are ready now, ready, it's time to go deeper. Talking directly now to your unconscious mind that is always standing by ready to help you now, talking directly 
to the creative part of you, eager to step forward, eager to play. Yes, to play, to play with ideas, to play with thoughts, as you have researched so much about what is happening now, it's time to recognize the creative spark within you, knowing that things are different now, things are changing. Just take a step back for a moment. Step back. It's time to take a step back. If you are lying down as you are easily and comfortably, maybe allow yourself to float and drift just a little bit higher than your relaxed sleeping body. Just float and drift a little bit higher than your physical self and take a look down upon yourself, your physical self. You see, this body has gone through a great many changes. In fact, it changes every day. They say, your cells are completely regenerating, thriving, replicating. And in seven years, you get a completely new body. You know this, your cells are regenerating. There are some things we emphatically want to remain the same. You see, the scientists say, when a salamander loses a leg, it just grows one back, identical. And yet, with a human being, if we lost any part of our body, it does not grow back in the same way a salamander's leg would. And, by the way, any scar that you have on your body in the next seven years might still be there because the programming within the body recreates the scar. Isn't that interesting? Some things about us as human beings fight to stay the same. And yet our body is completely moving, changing and evolving from moment to moment. And it's only when we look back over a period of years or look in the mirror and see the appearance of a wrinkle, of a, a new line in the face or maybe as we get older a grey hair that we recognise. Oh, our body is changing. And as your body changes, as you've been younger than you have been now, younger than you are now, as you have been younger than you are now, and as you will be older than you are now, you recognise your body allows you to recognise the passage of time time. These are changing times. This is a new time. This is a new time. And just like your body changes and you notice over time those changes, you're no longer seven years old. Maybe you're not 70 years old yet. You're somewhere in between. And as you recognize your body is thriving, the cells are dividing, you are charging up your immune system, you are more protected than ever before, more aware of your own health, the changes that are taking place in your body are also taking place in your world. It's time to be more involved. It's time to be more engaged with your creativity now. Time to be creative. 
And we want to take a moment for that creative part of the unconscious mind to come forward. Just take a moment now that you've stepped back, now that you've risen above. The creative part has come forward. It's time to focus on what you enjoy, what maybe you might have called play. You see, work has always had an air of seriousness about it. Work, work, something we have to do by using our time to get money. Now, wouldn't it be interesting, wouldn't it be nice if we could actually share what we're good at? what we know. We don't often call that work. When we're doing something pleasurable, when we're doing something that brings us joy, when we're doing something we can do easily, when we're being creative, we don't often call that work. And yet it's time to realise not everybody is good at that. Not everybody can do what you do. It's time to share. As the creative mind becomes more noticeable in your life so you'll recognize it's time to engage with what you're good at yes though what you enjoy too because that energy that joy that ease of your delivery will benefit so many other people that it could only get better and better so rather than things being a chore, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to change that, and there's a price list, and there's wording, and well, of course I don't want to focus on that, says your creative part, because they've made it boring, they've made it a chore, talking on behalf now of your creative part. Why would I want to engage with that? Why would I want to do that? Why would I? I want to do something more interesting. My focus will go somewhere else. Because this thing that they've been talking about that they need to do, that they have to do, and I ought to do, it's, it's just got no joy in it, no energy. Yet, if I now look at it and I start to play with words and I allow myself to be inventive and creative and to do this thing, to do this work in an interesting way, in an enjoyable way, in a different way to before, if I can engage with people and get their feedback, and I know there'll be people that will, you know, what people are like, they'll complain, the haters or whatever. It's just people's behaviour. It's just showing me that they're irritated with life at the moment and they just happen to have picked on me. As you are now increasing your resilience and just letting in the good comments, the enthusiastic comments, you'll know who you can help. You'll know what you want to do and who you want to engage with and you look at that website or you look at that way that you can now translate what you do and what you love and what you're skilled at translate it into an online presence and it may be that there is some negativity there about what you look like or what you sound like or blah 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 well it's time to record your voice, it's time to record your face. It's time to make the best of what you have, just like you've helped other people. It's time to make the best of what you have. And yes, there'll be other people that you consider prettier or happier or better in some respect than you are, though you are good enough right now. And the only failure is not to have a go. Because as soon as you do that, as soon as you have a go, and as soon as you can logically pick out, ooh, I don't quite like that about myself, I think I'll improve that next time. Ooh, I don't quite like that, 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 that that's a bit odd, and, ooh, I'm not quite, mm, mm, mm. 
only by trying, only by putting something together, can you reveal to yourself what needs to change. So you are taking the steps now, taking the steps that you need to take to allow, hear the word, to allow the creativity within you to improvise, adapt and overcome. Yes. Yes, the old Clint Eastwood heartbreak ridge phrase emblazoned in your deeper mind now. Improvise adapt and overcome that's what creativity is i'm improvising oh i don't like that oh i'll improve on that i'm improvising oh nobody's done it like this before or oh, i've seen somebody do it like that and i'm going to change it and i'm going to do it my way i'm improvising i'm not sure this is going to work i'm just improvising oh now it's time to adapt don't quite like that. Maybe I'll add this in. Oh, I've just had this good idea. Hmm, let's adapt it, let's adapt it, let's adapt it, let's adapt it. Oh, how about that? We overcame, we overcome. Those were challenges. Those things we used to call problems, they're challenges. And we only were able to bring them to attention by giving it a go in the first place. Having a go getting involved, engaging with what brings you joy, something you know about, something you're good at. And you'll know you're good at it because other people admire it already within you. Other people have said, and all those comments now come back to mind. When you've had those compliments and you shrug them off, oh, this thing, oh, of course I can do it. Doesn't everybody know how to do this? Oh, 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 yeah, those are the things to pick up on. Other people can do certain things much better than you. Think about that for a moment. The videos that you watch, the things you look up on the internet, the advice that you need. If your fridge doesn't work and there's no plumbing or no electrician to come and help, you'll look on YouTube, won't you? You'll look it up. I wonder if there's anybody else that's had this problem. And somebody that's had that problem of water coming out from under their refrigerator will show you how to unblock the filter at the back and the bottom of the fridge. Only my experience, because you have your own things out there that you don't understand, that you don't know about. Somebody's experienced it before and they've been willing to share. And we've all helped each other for such a long time with this internet stuff, putting something on YouTube. And if you haven't engaged before, maybe it's time to engage now. Maybe there's just something that you know in the way only you can present it that is going to be helping someone that's got a particular difficulty at the moment. Maybe there's something you can contribute. Maybe, just maybe, it's so important to someone that they'll want to give you something back. That's the way it works. Maybe just a small amount at first. Or maybe they'll ask you, I wonder if you could devote a whole hour of your time with me because I'm really struggling with this and I can see that you are somebody that could solve it for me. I wonder if you could be my hands and talk me through doing something I couldn't usually do for myself. I wonder if there is opportunity. Hear that word. Because I like to say it like Samuel L. Jackson. Opportunity. There is opportunity. There is opportunity now. Find your opportunity and really understand that word. There is opportunity now for you to improvise, adapt and overcome. For you to engage, for you to contribute, for you to get over your stuff and just use the best of you, showcase the best of you, or just wait. 
just wait. Just wait until the world returns to normal and retrain to do a different job, maybe, or to do the same job, hopefully, or maybe, um, I don't know. Uh, nobody knows, though you are present here right now, and you give yourself a present. Your present is to step back, to hover above it all, to take a moment here in trance. And you'll do this again, whatever way works for you. You'll take a moment during your days to step back, to have a think, to contribute, to improvise, adapt and overcome, to showcase the best of you, to share, to share. And you'll soon find out whether it's useful because people will tell you. You'll soon find out how to improvise, adapt and overcome because of the feedback, because people will tell you. You'll soon know where you can be useful, where you can be valuable and so valuable that somebody wants to give you something back. So it's time to give it out first. You've always known this. You've got to give of yourself first before people know, before people notice. And you are a people too. Remember that. You know what you've searched for, advice on, asked for help about, and do you know that others need your help right now? So when you think about and visualize and sense in your way, however vivid, however vague, when you think of your new idea or your existing website or social media that has its foibles, that has its limitations, that has its aggressors and its pacifists. As you think now about sharing and improving what you already have, the wording, how would this wording tell other people who I am, what I do, how I can help? How would this price list reflect the modern changes of everybody's finances, business is different now. What can I do? How can I engage with people? This is a window. This is my shop window. Ah, I never thought of it like that before. It's the shop window to me and I'm going to polish it, I'm going to improve it, I'm going to dust the corners, I'm going to look at the colour, I'm going to look at the vibrancy, I'm going to allow my energy to flow into this virtual shop window. Because this is how people know me. Maybe a picture, maybe a video. Maybe a demonstration on a teddy bear. Who knows? You do. Your creative spark, the essence within you, wants so much to play, to engage, to experiment. It only starts by you giving it a go. And maybe you only share it with a few trusted people to begin with. Hey, do you think this is useful? Could you give me some feedback? Because you know, I want to contribute. I want to share. I want to be involved. And in the future, when people say to me, what did you do? Mommy, what did you do in the times of the virus? You know, the big virus in the year 2020, when we all had to stay in. How did that change your business? I believe people used to work differently before then. It's all different now. I wonder 
a wonder. You wonder. And you'll keep wondering, just like the cells of your body are moving, changing and evolving. Every part of you is, and it's doing it very quickly now. In a moment, you'll return to full conscious awareness. In a moment, you'll recognize just how your motivation is changing. You'll recognize the truth. You'll recognize it was that negative ego. Ego's good, you know, but the negative part of it, it is not your friend. It'll stop you doing things that you are meant to do. Your negative ego is all shriveled up now and small and it's just a tiny voice that says you're not good enough. But you know different. You know different because your positive ego, everything that is good and wonderful and happy and energetic and wanting to play and to share has grown and continues to grow and your creativity is bursting forth. You'll know what to do because you're not going to be able to stop yourself doing it. In a moment, yes, in a moment you'll return to full conscious awareness, ready to play. Ready to play. Ready to improvise, adapt and overcome. In a moment, on my count now, hearing my words, you return to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before. One, rising up like a beautiful bubble to the surface of the sea. Two, feeling balanced and perfect, perfect and balanced, balanced in every way. Three, coming up further now, calmly confident and completely relaxed. Four, these good feelings stay with you now and forever. And five, open your eyes, stretch and smile.